Howdy! I'm feeling pretty good wearing my Syracuse University orange hat because we beat Connecticut. It's not the same Connecticut it's always been, but our team is one of the youngest in the nation, college ball that is, so I'm feeling pretty good. But I'm also feeling good for another reason. A couple weeks ago, I started to find out that some of my content from my blogs are on other websites. Now, I've always kind of known that sometimes my content ends up on another website, but usually they take a portion and then they link back to the website. And that's kind of cool. You know, we all are looking for backlinks on other websites. However, this particular site scraped everything from my site. And by everything, I don't mean just the content. They took all my pictures <laughs> and I was in the pictures. Me, I was in one picture. Me and my niece were in another picture. They took my copyright notice and any links that I had in there, they totally removed any links that I had put in those articles, which were to my own articles, and added their own. And there were three websites. So what I did first, I thought about immediately filing a DCMA notice, but instead, what I did is I went online. And there's a couple of places you can find information. One site is I went to basically, well, I went to GoDaddy. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, and I went to GoDaddy because that's where I get my domain names, but they're hooked into whois.net, and that's how you can look up to try to find out information on the IPs that websites belong to. Sometimes you can find out the name of the people, but I couldn't find out the name on any of these people. So, anyway, what I did was I found email addresses for two of them. Now, I did start off by trying to send an email to the one company which actually had two websites. And I, they had a contact email on there. So I sent something to them saying, okay, you need to remove my content within 24 hours. Otherwise, I'm going to kick it up a level. Didn't do a thing. So I found that there was something on there on the whois.net which said, if someone is stealing your content and you have copyright on it, contact us and let us know. So I sent out two letters. And the reason I sent out two is because two of the websites, even though they had different um, web addresses, <laughs> had the exact same template. I mean, really, everything was the exact same. And it turned out they were scraping from a lot of people, not just me. So I sent this stuff out. In one case, they took off my article. Totally, totally gone. On another, they ended up shutting down a website. Perfect. But on the third one, they missed it. Still, I was two out of three. And since two of the websites belong to the same company, I've ended up sending another letter to the same people, only I removed all the other references because that's what I tried to do. I thought I knew that they were owned by the same people, so I thought I could put two links in an email and they would address both. I guess that kind of thing doesn't work. Now, if I had to, I would have gone the DCMA route because I had enough information off of whois.net. And I'm going to give you a link to the article that I actually wrote about this before I heard back from anyone, which then has a link to how you file a DCMA notice, which I actually wrote in 2010 when I found people scraping my stuff. You know, it's an interesting thing where you have to think about whether you want to go after people or not. And you look at your own traffic. I mean, other people, the reason they scrape your stuff is because they're trying to make money off of your work. And that's not fair. However, one of the things you find out with Google and some of these other sites is that sometimes they blame you for different, for it's called duplicate content. And it's not your fault. And if other people might be getting more web traffic than you for your stuff, <laughs> that's problematic. So it's just something you think about. Now, how do you check that out? Every once in a while go to Google or any other search engine and in quotation marks put your title. Now if your title happens to be a common phrase you're probably gonna end up with tons of things that actually belong to other people but if it's not a common phrase then you should be able to find at least your website and if you find others you might find that some if you comment on blogs you may find your information on that page you expect that but if it's not either of those things, either someone has totally stolen your stuff or they've borrowed some of your stuff and linked back to you. And that's a decision you have to make. If they're linking back to you, is it a totally bad thing? I don't know. But these guys had totally wiped out all my links. That's why I complained. 
Anyhow, that's the lesson for this week. Let me know if you guys have had any issues with this and how you handle it. My name is Mitch Mitchell. Y'all have a wonderful week.